Hello and welcome. My name is Kalea Nelson and you are going to get to join me today in the beginning of the end of my undergraduate degree with this horn recital. This is a picture of me from graduation and I'm so glad that I have that one. Um, I know that this may be a little unorthodox per se because I know that SIU normally has their cute little streaming banner and everything but this feels more personal and since this recital is unorthodox to begin with, let's do it. This is Sunshine, my foster parents Lee and Tanya, um, they took that picture for me of us and they have been such backbones to my life since I had originally lived with them. Uh, this is Alima, Brett and Dylan, some of my lovely, lovely people. Um, basically, I decided that I wanted to go ahead and have some type of trailer going before the performance, and this is what we came up with, because who else am I? Uh, that's from Kentucky, when I was getting to spend some time with my bi wife slash ex-roommate uh, slash best friend, Cheyenne. I love her to death. Um, first and foremost, I started my time at SIU in the Marching Salukis with the band camp uh, in 2019. And so that's a picture from probably this past year. Um, during my time at SIU, I got to meet these lovely ladies, Isabel and Allie, uh, through SAI, which they are now my previous fraternity sisters, but God bless them and God bless me by putting them in my life. Here is my child, Truffles. Uh, she is my absolute heart and joy. She's like 15 years old. She's named after a Truffles chocolate candy, but she has been with me through like everything, even diagnosis of diabetes. <laughs> Let me explain that one real quick. That is the French horn that I made out of a garden hose with the instruction of Professor Jen Preeser, and she helped me through so much at SIU. This is my foster sis, Allie. Goodness gracious, she's already a teacher, and we had gone through so much even during high school, and then she moved, and then we were in community college for a little bit together, and then I was living in her house and all that. Uh, here is Kaz. Kaz has been such a blessing. I love them so much. Um, but all in all, I guess the preview uh, trailer thing is basically just to go over a l bunch of things that have impacted me a lot since my time at SIU. There's, there's my lovely dad, brother Zion, and older brother Josiah. Uh, this was this past Thanksgiving, and I am so glad that I was able to spend some time with them for that. Uh, here's Diamond. Hey, Diamond. <gasps> Are you ready, kids? Oh! <laughs> Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants! And so many yellow and forest disease! SpongeBob SquarePants! If not a cold dust, this be something you wish! SpongeBob SquarePants! And da 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 da, flop like a fish! <laughs> First and foremost, I would just like to explain that I really don't know most of the words to the SpongeBob theme song, but I know the tune, so that's what that was. And Diamond, oh my god, I love that man. Um, here is my first mellophone section from the Marching Salukis. These people impacted my life so much, and I still get to talk to some of them on a fairly regular basis. Uh, I hope maybe a couple of you guys are watching. Um, next, Fraternity Sisters. This is whenever we were all members in training. Uh, not everyone, but we were all in a concert together, so we get to wear our pins, and then we take pictures most of the time with roses afterwards because Sigma Alpha Yoda is all about love music. Who else would I be but to include a video of me singing? I always knew you'd be the one To break me down, no, it's not fun To be the girl you hit and run Wish you were sorry for the things you've done After all, you put me through Sick and tired of Loving you more I just can't give you what you 
I am a hopeless romantic and sometimes it's a little bit of a curse however sometimes it also really works out in my favor and that video was in part due to relationships during SIU this is Ariana oh my god Ariana is one of my absolute favorite people we've gone rollerblading slash skating like one time but she is one of my best friends here is my horn section from Symphonic Band before COVID, and these people were so much fun to play horn with in Symphonic Band. It was lovely getting to meet Nick, and then Nikki and Morgan and Rachel I had been with in Marching Salukis already. This is for my 24th birthday, uh, being all dramatic and stuff, and it's <laughs> probably one of my favorite pictures that I took that day, and I also made a bunch of jokes. Uh, I mentioned, like, relationships and stuff. Now, I had been heartbroken a couple times at SIU, but this is Adam Weatherly, and he's, like, the main person in my life right now that I just get to spend constant time with. Here is my father. Sometimes we call him Santa, and this is a picture from my last recital whenever I was graduating from Kaskaskia College with two associates, and now here we are today where I can get my bachelor's degree. This is at the Atlanta Aquarium when I was in Atlanta City with all of my students from Murfreesboro, and that was such a blessing and such a wonderful experience with all of them. Now, Brian Munoz is amazing at catching me sleeping. Um, he's an amazing photographer as well, but there's quite a few pictures of me sleeping in this slideshow <laughs> just from Marching Salukis. And here is my absolute, like, ugh, Kaylee Reamer, best friend. She has been our roommate. She's been mi mejor pie amiga. Uh, life without her would be so boring. Uh, this is from like my first week at SIU when I finally figured out my favorite practice room. I spent so much time in practice rooms and yet still not enough. Um, <laughs> I still know which one was my favorite. Uh, this is from when I colored my hair red and it's a really nice picture from this past year and I kind of just wanted to put it in the slideshow. Um, yeah, I just wanted to cover a lot of stuff. So here is my go-to person for everything. This is my mom. This was also from the last recital. So go mom, go us. Our relationship definitely was impacted in a positive way with me moving to SIU. Here is my love again, Adam Weatherly. We're actually in the process of moving right now. <clears throat> and, uh, it's a miracle that we didn't try and tra strangle each other whenever we were loading the trailer and everything. Uh, here's a wonderful little throwback to little teeny tiny me with short, short hair. That's probably around the time whenever I decided to cut it myself because I wanted it to be able to spike like my older brothers and then my mom had to like try and fix it. Uh, this is from River to River Honor Band. That was like junior or senior year of high school. And surprisingly enough, the one of the teachers that I had for student teaching was the teacher way back then at that school. This is also from my previous recital with Tristan Tyler and Professor Linda Marshall and Professor Cliff Jordan. Um, it's definitely been an amazing three years to be able to jump from then to now. Here is my big. This is Maya. Uh, God, I love her so much. She's my big in SAI and one of the reasons as to why I joined and I was so so excited whenever I found out she was my big Kristen Kelsey and Mason we've all been together for such a long time and I love the fact that the girls moved closer and that I get to see Mason every once in a while um, I met all of them while at Casey and they're still in my life today here's to SAI whenever we inducted the last class and oh my goodness by the end of this, you'll have seen a lot of SAI pictures because they've made so much of my life here. And me and Kaylee, whenever we were on our trip to Florida with all of our best friends, uh, Florida was an experience, but it definitely 
helped create who I am today, I guess you could say. Cheyenne and I went and did a bunch of photos, and that was one of my absolute favorites. Whenever I was down in Kentucky, we found a field of flowers. God bless her heart for knowing where it was, and it was just so much fun. Here again is the marching Salukis before COVID. Love this picture. Um, <laughs> as I've said before, I have so much to deal with and thank the marching Salukis for. Here is surprisingly a decent picture from whenever we were marching that Brian took of us, um, of me specifically. I've got some terrible ones from whenever we're marching. I usually look like I'm dying, so glad I have that one. There's Kaylee and Emily. We went out one night and took way too many pictures, and I think that was probably the best one that we got. Coming up next is from my graduation from Kaskaskia. Um, the J Knight Auditorium has always been something that I loved and spent a lot of time in, and I really, really like that picture. I wish I could have gotten something like that here. <clears throat> this is again from whenever Cheyenne and I went and did a bunch of photographs in Kentucky. God, I don't even know if I can talk enough about Cheyenne. I hope she watches this at some point, but I know that she's here today and I'm so, so excited. Oh my God, Josie is my sister. Emily is, <laughs> we're more than friends. We're like a small gang. And I know that that doesn't really make sense to anybody else, but it's a coaster, like a drink coaster that I had that she had gotten me. Um, this is whenever I was going through a tough time. I was like, I'm gonna go climb some rocks. <laughs> at Giant City Park and uh, I did and I decided to take a bunch of pictures with the beautiful beautiful sunset um, before I mentioned that Brian likes to take some amazing pictures of me sleeping um, yeah he's really good at finding me sleeping during marching band things and I like sleep I take as many naps as humanly possible here's the photo shoot day with Cheyenne you can finally see her face um, I actually have a ring from her because she's my bi-wife and uh, I wear it daily. Back to the marching Salukis from my first year before COVID. Oh gosh, I have so many pictures with all of them and I'm so, so grateful. There's just absolutely so many. Here are some more of my sisters. This is Ashley and Max. Um, we actually... <laughs> Ashley and I went to go get some piercings and we found Max there and we all freaked out because what are the chances? Um, up next is from the COVID summer. I got to spend the entire summer in Wisconsin with my dad and uh, it was a magical experience. I'm not going to say that I'm grateful for COVID, but it definitely gave me an experience that summer that I never would have had before. Here's a wonderful picture yet again from Brian Munoz. Um, that was whenever we were learning drill for my first year. Although Adam and I haven't been together for even a full year yet, we are in the process of moving into a house together. And that picture was from whenever we were in Vegas and California for Christmas. Um, here's SAI from whenever I was interested and so there were quite a few of us that did join that year and there were quite a few people in that picture that did not. Um, here again is from Christmas when Adam and I were in Vegas in California. Um, it was such an amazing experience and although we were uh, a little done with the trip by the end lab we did it here is a summer that i got to spend time with my two younger brothers and the little girl named Annalie. that by blood is not my sister but goodness gracious she is my sister Professor Breeser, I hope you enjoy that one because that was definitely a Christmas gift to you from Cheyenne and I. I always feel so bad for our old neighbor. 
uh, here is the marching Salukis mellophone section again for my first year whenever we got to do the banquet at the end of the year and I have so many great pictures and memories and videos from that night as well. Here's another Garden House Horn jury. <laughs> Things that I wish I would have known before I came to SIU are like better understandings of embouchure and lip placements and everything because that garden hose really taught me a lot more than I ever expected. Here is another amazing picture from Brian Munoz uh, after COVID. Uh, we were allowed to finally play while we all wore masks, uh, normally pretty distanced apart. Here is from Thanksgiving, Truffles, Archbold, and my mama. Uh, I got to spend some time with everybody in the family basically that day and oh, they're my heart, they're my home and here's some more of my home. This is my dad, older brother Josiah, younger brother Zion. Joan was not pictured but that's whenever Josiah and I drove all the way to Wisconsin uh, in early February basically in a snowstorm to surprise my dad for his birthday. Um, here's the splint that I was stuck in for an extended period of time where it looked like I was begging for change. Um, I went to one of my childhood best friend's weddings and then went and did a photo shoot by myself. Uh, here is Emily. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love her. Uh, we're, again, like a small gang and we've spent so much time together. We've had falling outs, we've done all kinds of stuff, but she is ride or die. Uh, this is an impromptu sister date, and we had to take a picture, so we grabbed a bunch of throw pillows and took a sister date picture. Uh, love those girls so, so much. Whenever I was going through all of my pictures and everything looking for stuff to add to this, I came across the KC Pep Band and I absolutely could not pass it up to throw that in there. Uh, here's some of my favorite people that I met while at KC. Um, I love them and although I tried to leave KC a couple of a lot of times, I'm so glad that I stuck through it and got both my associates. Here's Cheyenne and I from whenever we first moved into the house. This is like the first day that we were together and so we decided to go walk around the pond and uh, spend time together and get to know each other better and everything. Here is another little picture of little me. Uh, this is whenever I was in Tennessee visiting family. I love and miss Jimmy and Susan so much. I wish I had more pictures with them. I wish I had more time with them. But I'm so glad that I got to spend time with them as much as I did whenever I was a kid. Here is actually another picture from when I was with them in Tennessee. You can kind of just see how my hair evolves <laughs> through time. It's, I'm sorry, I think it's kind of funny. And here's another evolution of hair. Uh, this is again from the COVID summer. And although I definitely do not miss COVID, um, I do kind of miss the COVID summer because I got to run away to Wisconsin and spend time with family and everything. Uh, here's a picture from the first musical experience that I really had with SIU, and that's whenever the KC choirs kind of got to join the SIU choirs, and we performed Carmina Burana, which is still one of my absolute per favorite performances ever. If you look closely at the background of this picture, you can see my mom taking it in the window. But that was whenever I moved out of Neely, one of the towers at SIU, and I actually really love living in that tiny dorm. Here are Brett and Tawny. Oh my goodness, this is when we went and took pictures in the Christmas lights, and I don't even remember the town's name. Oh goodness. Um, either way, I'm so glad that I have that experience and those pictures with them. Um, my marching band section leader 
made me cry that night. Um, I definitely wouldn't have gotten any awards if it wasn't for her, but that one, that one really struck home for me. Here's whenever I was in percussion ensemble because Dr. Butler needed one more player, and although I definitely probably messed up the piece several times, uh, that was a great experience to be in that percussion ensemble as well. Oh my goodness, Sarah and Nikki, I'm so glad that Brian got that picture too. Um, goodness, I have so many experiences from Marching Salukis. And then here's, here's another one from the Christmas parade. I remember there was one parade, the homecoming parade. I almost kind of like died because diabetes and running late and one of the few things that I really ever ran late for and running across campus and Kevin, Kevin was a blessing. Uh, here are Kristen and Kelsey again. They came to one of my concerts. They're so sweet. Oh, I was wearing the French horn necklace from Sarah that I, <laughs> in that picture. Um, throwback to Kevin, though. Kevin, he, he, like, saved my life. Kevin was one of our graduate students that I, God, I love Kevin. He came out of, like, nowhere from this parade and saved me and drove me in his car through the parade. Uh, here are Tawny and Brett again. They have such amazing personalities and I have so many, so many experiences with them from SIU as well, even though I met them before SIU because of my old job. Here's from Carmina Barana again. Um, although I had a lot of amazing, amazing experiences as a member of SIU's music department. I have to say, Carmina Burano was one of the most absolute spectacular performances that I was ever a part of, and that was before I was even an SIU student. So here are just more and more pictures showing. So Erin and I were both in the choir, and Lexi and almost everyone from the theater department from that year came out and supported all of us that were in the choir, and it was absolutely so, so cool. Um, Clearly, there were 172 vocalists that were in that choir, and it was just so breathtaking to be a part of, and such amazing music by Carl Orff. Um, here is whenever I was doing the scholarship interview, and I actually got that scholarship, which helped me out for the first two years that I was at SIU, and I don't know if I could have ever actually financially handled SIU without it. Uh, here we are at the airport. Zion and Jonah were probably heading to Alabama, and of course, Daddy wanted a picture, so we got a picture. Here is another amazing video of Diamond, and I just had to throw it in here. <laughs> adding a little bit of flavor to everything especially my life and I'm so proud of him for getting a job just like all of my colleagues since we graduated. Um, my mom has always told me that I was always making some type of music whenever I was basically born and on so I assume that picture is me dancing with a balloon probably doing some type of humming. Here oh my goodness Josie. Josie is my sister. I I do not want to live in a world without Josie. Josie has my heart. She is not by blood, but she is by choice my sister. Here are Lena and Zion and Jonah. They are family, and I'm so glad that I got to go spend some time with them last summer whenever I was in Alabama. They took me in for a few days after driving Jonah his new car. Here's my dad and Zion. Uh, we went on a hike, and we did those constantly, and I was able to convince them to take that picture with me, and let me tell you, taking pictures with your Apple Watch is an absolute blessing. Here again is last summer with Anneli and Zion and Jonah, and I'm so, so grateful for that trip. I absolutely love and adore those kids, and it's terrifying. They're not children, and Zion and Jonah are both into music and theater, and it makes me so happy. 
here are Brett and Kaylee whenever we went to Florida last summer. That was such an entertaining trip and overall I'm very glad that we got to take that trip together. Up next is just me and the boys being goofballs per usual and <laughs> the guys were trying to pretend like I don't even know. I just love them. They bring me so much happiness. As far as graduate students from while I was at SIU, here is AJ, and AJ helped me out so incredibly much through like any type of stage fright and performances and everything, and I really, really wish he could have been here today. Here is my beautiful mama and Truffles and Archibald. I believe this is the day whenever I went to go visit her for her birthday, and that is one of my absolute favorite pictures of the four of us. Um, up next, one of my absolute best friends from high school, Sarah. Uh, goodness gracious, we have so many memories together, and it would be so cool if we got to hang out again soon, but we live in different states now, and they're so many hours apart, it's really kind of difficult. Here are just about all of my colleagues in the music program, and you can't even see Mickey's head because she's dabbing, but bless her heart, she's an absolute blessing, an absolute miracle that I wish you could see her face. Um, this is another picture from the uh, wind ensemble outside. This was the Pops concert, and due to my arm injury, I wasn't able to play, but I was lucky enough to still be there and support all of my colleagues that were there. Here's, of course, another Marching Salukis picture, but uh, this is after COVID, and we had our snazzy little jackets and our snazzy uh, cloth face masks. Um, I don't even remember exactly which concert this was, but SAI Sisters, we got our pins. Veronica and Max, we got to take a picture together, of course. Um, that one was a ton of fun, too. Also, Veronica was our editor at this time, and she has some amazing talent with taking pictures and creating masterpieces like that. I definitely lost track of which concert was which, but here's my mom and I after what I'm assuming is a wind ensemble concert. Maybe it was a symphony concert. I couldn't tell you for sure, but she came to as many as she absolutely could, and I am so blessed for that. Here <laughs> if you couldn't tell, we always had a lot of fun in the marching Salukis um, during games, during rehearsals, and everything else. Uh, here's another concert picture with Jessica, Tristan, and Mickey. You finally get to see Mickey's face. Um, I had my bag. I was probably getting ready to run away so I could go home and go to sleep or go home and work on some type of assignment that I hadn't gotten to yet. Um, next is my last section of Mellophones. God bless them. Um, that was after COVID when we were finally able to do football games and everything, which I believe was during the spring. So that was definitely an experience. Uh, here is another Brian Munoz picture. I wish I could zoom in on my eyeball because it looks so freaking cool in that picture with the sun. I definitely overanalyze some of those pictures. Uh, here is whenever we went to visit my dad for his birthday. I had a friend tell me once that that kind of looked like an album cover, and that was such an amazing experience in time that I had to throw it in here as well. Another Marching Salukis picture here. One of my absolute favorites that Brian got of me, and I wonder if it's because you can't see like half of my face, but it's, it's all of them eyes. Brian was definitely always good with getting pictures of my eyes. Oh my goodness, Joanna, bless her. I love her so much. I met her through a friend of a friend of a friend, etc., whatever. And we got close actually over the internet, mainly because we're both type 1 diabetics. Here is foster fam, Allie and Tanya and Courtney. Uh, that was whenever we were all together for Christmas and we were all wearing PJs and everything, and I had to throw that one in there. Here's a video of me and Ariana. One. 
So you know how people like tend to take first day of school pictures and stuff. This was our last day of school picture video session that Ariana and I did. I'm so glad we had the glitter for that. Um, this was my supposed to be last jury, I believe. And I'm so glad that Professor Priester got that on video. And that was the ending look that I gave her. Here are Sunshine and Shadow. Uh, sadly, Shadow is no longer with us, but I came across this photo and I absolutely had to throw that in there because they've both been a part of my life for so long and like they are my children basically. Here is Cheyenne and I. We went for a hike and of course I made her take a picture because she's beautiful and I wanna make sure that I have those pictures to help me keep memories and everything. We are now coming to the end and I just want to thank everybody for participating in such a big experience for me and thank you so much for coming to this live stream or in person. Please go ahead and silence your phones and no flash photography, but I hope you get to enjoy this performance and I am so absolutely excited to finally do this.